begin with the dramatic rescue going on right now to get the crew of a stranded fishing boat to safety in New York. A Coast Guard helicopter is trying to pull crew members off the boat. An early attempt to rescue the sailors failed when a Coast Guard boat capsized. All the Coast Guard crew members swam to safety. And these are live pictures right now. This rescue effort comes after violent storms swept along the East Coast. Winds flipped over a semi-truck on New York's Wa George Washington Bridge. The storm brought down a home in the Bronx, but no one was hurt. Falling power lines on Long Island sparked at least one car fire. The powerful band of storms is responsible for at least eight deaths in the South. Several tornadoes ripped through Virginia, killing four. Chip Reed is in Waverly, south of Richmond, where a state of emergency is in place. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. I am standing in the middle of what used to be a small mobile home park here in Waverly, Virginia. As you can see, this was the laundromat. It was made of brick and even cinder block, but it has been completely destroyed. Walk down here. Take a look at this. That trailer there behind the bushes that is largely destroyed. We talked to a man who lived there. He can hardly believe he's alive. And that's partly because just on the other side of that trailer is where another trailer used to be, and that is where three people, including a two-year-old child, died. A deadly storm system lashed the East Coast Wednesday, pummeling it with violent winds and torrential rain. Multiple tornadoes were reported in Virginia, where at least four people have died and dozens more have been injured. A tornado just came through right on 460 right now. Just tore this place to pieces. Three died here in Waverly, a two-year-old child and two men who were found 300 yards from their mobile home. 70-year-old Vincent Donald lives next door. Push a wind come, spin it, lift the roof, but I survived. In Pennsylvania, more than 30,000 people lost power. Authorities issued tornado warnings and several homes were torn apart. We heard, you know, you hear stuff tossing and turning and right. we heard debris. This is just like not even real. A steady downpour led to flash flooding in and around Washington, D.C., where drivers slogged through the evening commute. Oh, tree just fell down. At least three tornadoes were reported in North Carolina. Straight line winds and pounding rains toppled trees and cut one home nearly in half. Time lapse video shows the storm as it rolled through downtown Charlotte. That is one wild storm. The system made its way to the northeast where strong gusts flipped over this truck in New York. And in New Jersey, manhole covers were sent flying into the air. The wet weather caused underground electric explosions in Elizabeth. First responders spent the night going through this area, going through this incredible debris field, trying to make sure there's nobody unaccounted for. There is still apparently some question whether this was a officially a tornado. Just look. It's hard to believe it could have been anything other than that. I'll say the pictures really tell the story there. Thank you, Chip, very much.